What do you want out of your language arts program? What components do you want to include? They all sound good, don't they? And necessary. One option is to go with an inclusive program that includes all of the components we've talked about so far. The alternative is to pull together the individual parts so you can put the emphasis exactly where you think it ought to be. An all-inclusive program, especially in language arts, has a lot of appeal for many parents because the author and the publisher has already done the work of putting all of the components together in one neat package. This means that a single course will include reading and literature, comprehension, grammar, spelling, composition, vocabulary, penmanship, character quality language arts, or phonics road to spelling and reading, or write from history, are all good examples of all-inclusive programs. Sometimes an inclusive program just means that all the components are there, but they are not related to each other in any way. Example of this would be life packs or the switched on schoolhouse language arts. Sometimes inclusive programs are integrated, which means that the components are all there and they work together in a relationship. Learning language arts through literature, Total Language Plus, as well as Reader's Journey and Moving Beyond the Page are all examples of integrated, all-inclusive programs. If you are a new homeschool parent, programs like these can be a good place to start and they can be a springboard for future planning. In general, all-inclusive programs tend to be a little easier on the parent-teacher. Much of the planning and often much of the preparation and work has been done for you. And there's a cohesiveness that's satisfying. Unfortunately, one criticism of all-inclusive courses is that they can end up being a little light in one or more area of content. I really think this needs to be looked at from a slightly different perspective. If the all-in-oneness is the strength of the program, it only stands to reason that there might be other programs in any one area that are stronger in that particular skill set. This problem is often easy to address by adding a targeted skill workbook that provides extra instruction and practice in that particular area. One other way to get an all-inclusive or a comprehensive program is to buy the components from a single publisher. These are often designed to work together and to be complementary. A good example of this is first language lessons and writing with ease. If you decide you would rather put your program together by picking and choosing the different components, we have lots of programs in any one area. We also have programs that include two or more components but leave out one thing or another. It's very common to see reading and literature and vocabulary combined into one program. Bob Jones or SMAR or Mazdas literature are good examples of this, but SMAR and Mazdas also include writing. The same is true of writing and grammar programs such as Saxon Grammar and Writing or Prentice Hall Writing and Grammar. These are pretty easy to work with and it's fairly easy to add other programs to round out your language arts curriculum. Sometimes a publisher has an approach to one of the components that is either so unique or so undeniably effective that it becomes their primary focus. The Institute for Excellence in Writing is a good example of this. However, even though IEW started out by being focused on writing skills, they have expanded and they now include Excellence in Literature series, a grammar editing course called Fix It, Phonetic Zeus Spelling, Primary Arts of Language, which is a beginning reading and writing, and even speech, the speech boot camp. In a way, this brings us back to our weaving analogy. All the various components of language arts seem to be related and to blend into one another sooner or later. Interestingly, I think that also means there's value in being taught language arts from several different perspectives. Language arts is not like math. With math, because it is so sequential, I tend to think it is best to find a program that works for you and to stick with it. In language arts, reading skills, writing skills, speaking skills can all be strengthened by exposure to a variety of approaches, to a variety of emphases on different aspects. Since we are thinking of the art of language as a weaving, we need to remember that if you have a weak thread, you are likely to have a compromised fabric. The same will be true with your approach to language arts. If you leave out an important element, your end result will be weakened. There's another lesson in our weaving analogy, I think. Sometimes the focus needs to be on the foundation threads, on the warp threads, just as if we were setting up the loom. Sometimes the emphasis needs to be on the filler threads, the ones that pull everything together and produce a finished product. Sometimes the emphasis needs to be on the special effects, 
This is likewise true in our approach to language arts. In order to have a lovely, finished product, we will have to focus at times on the basics and at other times concentrate on the beauty. Whatever route you choose to take with your language arts curriculum weaving, my goal has been to give you some tools that will help you make level-headed decisions about the options for your program. If you still have questions, please contact me or one of the other Rainbow Consultants. Remember, there is no best program for everyone, but you can choose a program that will work best for you.